Amen. The problem is we won't keep still. Amen. Moses say, be still and see the salvation of the Lord. Amen. Amen. In Hebrew, that be still means close your mouth. Shut up. Amen. Amen. Even when Jesus made the waves, you know, he, he went out there and he made the wind and the waves be quiet. Amen. We, we talk too much during troubled times. Amen. We just need to keep our mouth closed and be still. And God will fight our battles. Come on, let's thank God for these women. Amen. Thank you, women's choir. Amen. Also good to see my good friend, Reverend Charles Ray. Amen. Thank God for him. Amen. We was talking in the study, amen, and he said, you know, I'm over here trying to, you know, uh, just lend a hand because Pastor Lee is a good man. I say, yeah, he's a good man. Amen. And you always want to lend a hand to a good man. Amen. Amen. So good to see Reverend Ray here. And good to have all of you on this 15th pastoral anniversary. I know it's not easy. Amen. Bill Zion, thank you for being there for my 27th pastor's pre-anniversary. I thank you. Amen. And even when I was in Atlanta with the grandchildren, I, I knew that we had to get back here. Amen. To help celebrate my brothers, brother and sister, because we support one another. Amen. Sometimes in this business, you don't, you don't get a lot of support. Amen. But when you find some a good support, Amen. You need to keep that good support. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you for this 15th year anniversary. Thank you for this man of God, this woman of God. Thank you for keeping it together. I know that there's been some ups and downs down through these 15 years, but Lord, here they are. You kept them once again. Thank you for those who got up here and said some kind words about their pastor, about his wife. Thank you for the choir. Thank you for these people who are here today in support of their pastor and wife. God, I pray that you will bless them with many, many more years. Now, Heavenly Father, they need a word today. We all need a word. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. And so, Heavenly Father, it is the word that saved us. The word, the word is that keeping us. Right. And so we need, to, we need to hear a word from you today. Oh, yeah. So hide me behind the cross and, and, and use me, God, as an instrument in your hand. So let the people see less of me and more of you. Let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. At the hospital, these three men were having babies at the same time. Amen. Their wives were delivering and they were in the waiting room. Amen. And uh, some of y'all know what I mean. Amen. Amen. Their wives were having babies. Amen. Right, right, right. Amen. But you know, you can't make no baby by yourself. Amen. All right. All right. So both of y'all having it. Amen. So uh, they were waiting in the waiting room, and, and one nurse came in, told the man, Hey, you, you having twins? He said, Ain't that a coincidence? I work for a double mint. Amen. Next nurse came in. So the second man, you uh, having triplets. He say, ain't that a coincidence? I work for AAA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the third man got his hat, got up, and walked out. And he say, where you going? He say, with all these coincidences, I work for 7-Up. <laughs> a 
Life is really no coincidence. Life is about divine providence. And it is by divine providence, not coincidence, not by accident, that Pastor Lee and Sister Lee are here at Bell Zion. Despite what anyone may say, amen, it's by divine providence. And when you think about your own life, it was not by accident. It was not by coincidence that you are where you are and you have what you have and you are that you are. It's only by divine providence. Take your neighbor divine providence. And with that, divine providence is, is nothing but God's preparation. God already preordained, he already pre-prepared that this day would come, that you would be where you are. And so it leads me to this text on this 15th year of pastoral anniversary to Jonah chapter 4. And I want to look at verses 7 through verse 9. Jonah 4, 7 through 9. Talking about divine apartment, divine preparation. Here it is right here. But God prepared a worm when the morning rose the next day. And it smote the growth that it withered. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass when the sun did arise. Somebody say sun did arise. Sun did arise. Amen. <laughs> Underscore that, those three words. And God prepared a, a ventilated weast wind and the sun beat upon the head of Jonah. Okay. But he fainted that he fainted and wished himself to die and said, it is better for me to die than to live. And God said to Jonah, doeth thou well to be angry for the growth? And he said, I do well to be angry even unto death. Amen. Look at verse seven again. The first portion of it says, but God prepared a worm. Right, right. Amen. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor. Amen. Preach going to preach about. God prepared messenger. Amen. God prepared messenger. God prepared messenger. Amen. We are here today on this 15th year pastoral anniversary to celebrate God's prepared right. messenger. Amen. amen. And my aim this morning, amen, is to let us know that God called messengers or servants okay. so that the sun mm -hmm. can shine. Right. Right. Amen. Amen. God Amen. Calls messengers or servants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. So that the sun can shine. Right, right. Amen. And three things that I want to mention in this text. Amen. This morning. Amen. About God's prepared messenger. Because we are not talking about just any ordinary messenger. Verse 7 says, but God prepared a worm. Amen. Tell your neighbor how unusual. Amen. That, that, that out of all the things that, that God prepared, he prepared a worm. Amen. Other times he prepared unusual things. Amen. Remember Balaam was on that donkey? Amen. Amen. The first time we... See in the Bible where a donkey started talking. Amen. That was a prepared donkey. 
And I heard a preacher say, you know, uh, when, when the donkey could see the angel, yeah. but Balaam couldn't see the angel. Right, right. And you know, and you wonder who is the real donkey. Oh, yeah. Amen. If we go across the street, I'll use another term. Amen. Oh, but since we're in church, amen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ain't it amazing that the donkey saw the angel, yeah. but Balaam didn't. Amen, amen. God prepared a donkey. There was other times when uh, God prepared, amen, uh, uh, other things, other creatures. He, he prepared, even in Jonah, amen, in chapter 1, he prepared a storm. Amen, not by accident, not by coincidence, but he prepared a storm, amen, that got Jonah to the place that Jonah needed to be. They threw Jonah overboard and then... And then it also says in Jonah that God prepared a fish. Right, right. Amen. How unusual is that? Right. First a storm, then a fish. The fish swallowed up Jonah. Right. Amen. And Jonah prayed and, and, and he vowed to go to Nineveh. Yeah. Amen. And then not only did God in this particular book alone, he prepared a storm, he prepared a fish, but he also prepared a plant. Right. Right. Amen. Isn't that what it says? Amen. Right. And in, in chapter 4, amen, when, 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 when the heat was breaking down or coming down on Jonah, amen, that was God had a, a plant to grow over his head yeah, right, right. to bring him some shade and some comfort, yeah, right. amen, in his time of emotional uh, despair, yeah, right. amen. It's amazing. He prepared a storm. He prepared a, a fish. He prepared a plant. Yeah, right, right. And now in verse 7, uh -huh. he prepared. A word. Amen. God used some unusual things. Animals, insects. Amen. Nature. Amen. Not by accident. Not by, amen, uh, 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 coincidence, but by divine providence. Matter of fact, a matter of fact, God used a lot of stuff, amen, in your own life. Our own life to get us where we needed to be. Do I have a witness in the house? Amen, amen. God use sickness for somebody. Amen. Amen. God, God, God will use a, a person. He'll use a situation. I say all the time, God will either use three things, amen, uh, to speak to us. He will use his spirit. That still small voice inside of us that tell us we need to do this or not do that. He'll use his spirit. Amen. Three S's. Amen. The spirit. Then if, if you don't listen to his spirit, amen, he'll bring his servant. Amen. On Sunday morning, you listen to Pastor Lee preach or listen to the preacher preach. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we won't even listen to the servant. Amen. That's the second S. Amen. But sometimes God will use a situation. Amen. You didn't want to listen to his spirit. You didn't want to listen to his ser servant. Sometimes God will use a situation. Amen. God will use a hurricane Ike. Amen. God will uh, have you to lose your job. Amen, amen. And God will let something happen to one family member. God will use a situation. Amen. He will let you get a bad report from the doctor. Amen. Just to get us to uh, get to the place that we need to be. And here in this text, God used or prepared a word. Amen, amen. And I want to let you know that it's uh, Reverend Lee and Sister Lee. Amen. It is by, it was no accident that they got together. Amen. It, it was no coincidence that Lee and, 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 and Evelyn got together. Amen. Amen. But it was by divine providence. Amen. Amen. It was by divine providence that 15 years ago, amen, that, that, that they would be pastor and first lady of this church. Amen. 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 And, and, and I'm sure that it was a surprise to some folks. Amen, amen. When I went to St. Matthew's, it was a surprise to some folks. Who over there pastoring? Uh -huh. Amen, amen. Pastor Randall, amen. Who over there at Bell's at Pastor Lee? Amen, amen. Matter of fact, amen. Some folks thought it was a, a, a surprise. Amen. You married the woman that you married. Amen. Uh -huh. Or the man that you married. Amen, amen. Or the job that you have. Yeah. Amen. It, it's, it's not, I believe that life is not about an accident. Yeah. It is no accident that you are here this morning listening to this sermon, amen, at almost 12 o'clock today. It is by divine providence. Anybody want to thank God for divine providence? 
for 15 years ago, yeah. it was by divine providence that uh, Pastor Lee and Sister Lee got called to this church. Amen. I, 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 I had no idea sitting in the pulpit with uh, Jerry, amen, that he would become the pastor of uh, Greater Bell Zion. Amen. Isn't that right, uh, Coach Carl? Amen. Amen. I didn't know why Evelyn, amen, we was in the, amen, just messing around. A lot of times we were just playing around in church. Amen. Playing on the uh, piano organ that she would become first lady of a uh, bell sign. But, but it's by, we're here by divine providence. That's all I'm trying to press on somebody. And there's a reason why God prepared you. There's a reason why God put you in a place where you are now. Here is a worm. Not just anyone. Amen. Amen. This is this was a prepared word. I'm sure there was a lot of worms. Amen. That God could have used to send Jonah a message. But he used and prepared this particular. Matter of fact, amen. When you look in the mirror, amen, amen. It's, it ought to be amazing to you that God is using somebody like you. Amen. With your no good self. Amen. With your with your lying self, with your cheating self. Amen. Because some of us done some things, been some places, been with some people. Amen. I know you ain't going to say amen. Hotel, motel, holiday inn. Amen. I told him at Barbers, amen. I'm telling y'all at Belzine today, amen. You need to go get a holiday inn back that tower, amen, that you... Uh, 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 took you. I know you got it at your house. You got a holiday inn all on it. Amen. It's amazing yeah. how God used some folks like us. Yeah. Amen. Folks whose lips were black. Amen. Eyes were tight. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Fingers were brown. Yeah. And how? And, and how? And how in the world? Amen. God have the nerve to use somebody like us. Yeah. But you know, those are the kind of people that shout a little loud in church. Yeah. Do I have any witness in the house? Amen. Somebody there. Amen. How can God use somebody like me? A no good wrench like anybody want to thank God? God could have used anybody, but he used somebody like you. Pastor Lee and Sister Lee, you ought to thank God. Amen. Because God could have gotten anybody. Amen. To Pastor, amen, Greater Bell Zion. I am very thankful every time I step in the pulpit. Sometimes we think people, it ought to be a privilege for folks to have somebody like us. It ought to be a privilege for somebody to be our friend. Amen. But you know, they, we, they can find a better friend than you. Amen. There, there, there's better Christians. There's better pastors they could have found than you. But God used somebody like you. God used somebody like me. That's why me and Lee get together over at Kelly's. Amen. And we get to smile him. Amen. Because we say, man, God is funny. Because it sure make us laugh that he uses somebody like us to pastor his people. Should have had a witness in the house. Amen. When you look in the mirror, you ought to laugh too. Amen. That God would use somebody like you. This prepared worm. Amen. Three things that we want to mention, amen, this morning that, amen, kind of, I want to help uh, Sister Lee and Pastor Lee, amen, about uh, God's prepared messenger. Amen. I want to look at his wiggle. Amen. Amen. I want to look at his work. And I'm going to look at his word. Amen. Amen. This, 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 this worm, amen, had to wiggle his way from the ground. Amen. To crawl up. Amen. This part of the trunk of the tree. Amen. And then go over this big leaf that was covering, amen, Jonah's head. Amen. Amen. In other words, this wiggle has to do, amen, that, 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 that God had a certain place that he wanted this worm to be. Amen. And, and this worm wiggled his way, amen, to the place where God had him. Amen. I want to tell you that Pastor Lee, it was a wiggle. Right. Amen. That God got you here. Yeah. Amen. To Bell Zion. Yeah. Not by accident, not by quint, but divine providence. Yeah. Amen. Amen. If the truth was told, all of us wiggled our way. Yeah. Amen. Amen. To the place that God wanted us to be. Yeah. Do I have any witness in the house? Yeah. Amen. Amen. God called was a wiggle to a certain place. Yeah. 
Amen. See, God got a place for all his saints in the body of Christ. Everybody can't be the eye. Everybody can't be the ear. Everybody can't be the finger. Amen. Everybody can't be the little toe. But you know what? In the body of Christ, everybody can be something. Do I have any witness in the house? We ought to celebrate that God got a place for all of us. And if the truth was told, all of us just wiggled our way to our place. Amen. It took us a long time to get there. Amen. We had to go through the push plug. Amen. Had to go through the front door. Amen. Amen. Might as well say amen, Lee. Amen. 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 Had to go through HTs. Amen. And Honey Hush. And amen. And, and Club Desire. See, maybe you be that Bell Zion all your life. But see, I remember even the you drive in. Some of y'all remember the you drive in? Amen. Mama used to ask me to go get a, 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 a hamburger. Amen. And when I went to get hamburger, you know, I had that little window. Amen. They would slide because you couldn't go in the front door. Amen. You had to knock on that window. The guy would slide that little window. Amen. And ask you what you want. Lee, you remember that, don't you? I remember that. And when I and, and every time they slide that little window back, amen, I wanted to look to see who was in the front door. I was just a little boy. Amen. I saw some deacons in the front door. Amen. I saw some missionary sisters in the front door. I saw some bad worms wheeling their way to the front door. Amen. Amen. You might as well say amen. Some of us come from the strange places. Amen. And God, it took a while to get us. Amen. The Karen Bowers. Amen. When we used to pack six packs. Amen. 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 And so here this worm, God, who prepared this worm, he wiggled his way. And notice he had to go up. Amen. And then over. Sometimes, amen, it's a struggle. Do I have any witness in the house? For some of us just to get where we are right now. Amen. We who've been on food stamps and welfare. Amen. Amen. Like you ain't never had no great cans at your house. Amen. Amen. I told them the day how, amen, y'all remember the spam used to cut it, cook it, cut it, crook it. Amen. Then got that big old block of cheese and you cut that crooked too. Amen. You got that big old black flying pan. You put some of that Crisco all in there. Amen. Put all had a whole lot had more all than you had ham in the pan. Amen. And it made a good spam. Amen. Cheese sandwich. Amen. Some of us forgot where God brought us from and we had to wheel it our way to the top. Amen. It was a wiggle, wasn't it? Lee, it wasn't easy getting here. Amen. I remember, amen, sitting in the pulpit. Amen. We were, it was a privilege for us just to preach. We didn't preach Sunday morning. Amen. We preached Sunday night. Amen. Amen. And, 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 and just a privilege to preach. Amen. God brought all of us a mighty long way. He brought you a mighty long way, Jerry. Amen. Evelyn, he brought you a mighty long way. Amen. Playing at TSU choir. Can I have a witness? Amen. And now you are first lady of Greater Bell Zion Missionary Baptist Church. Amen. You didn't get there by accident, coincidence. Amen. God brought you a mighty long way. Amen. Every now and then, amen, you ought to just wiggle a little bit. Amen. 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 The worm got that slow. Amen. And he had to go up. Sometimes, uh, see, God don't ever send us down. He always kind of sin. When, when you are, when you doing something for the Lord, you always on your way up. Yeah. Do I have any witness in the house? Yeah. Amen. Amen. He, he, the God had called him because there are some Jonas in the church. Right. Amen. Who need a prepared worm. Right. Amen. Y'all know Jonah, don't you? Yeah. Jonah was a bad boy. Yeah. Amen. Jonah didn't even want to go to the Ninvites. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He went, amen, in the opposite direction. Yeah. Amen. And God had to call a storm. Amen. And then God had to call a fish. Amen. Amen. And then here is Jonah after he done preached to the Denvites. And now the boy is mad. Lee, I know for 15 years, amen, you had to preach in some of some folks that were mad. You had to preach to some Jonas. Amen. And God prepared you, prepared a message for some Jonas. Amen. Don't act like you ain't never came to church mad. Don't act like you ain't never been mad at somebody in the church. Amen. 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 But I'm, I'm so glad that every time when we are an emotionally stressed person, God always sent us somebody. 
he, he, he prepared this worm for a messed up Jonah. Amen. And isn't it true that that was once a time in all of our lives. Amen. Where we were messed up. Amen. And we needed a prepared messenger. Amen. With a message. Amen. To get us where we need to be. Amen. I, I wish that I, I had a church full of good folk. Amen. And I'm so glad that all of my folks ain't good at the church. Matter of fact, all have sinned and come short of the glory. All of us been in the place of a Jonah. Amen. And Jonah is upset. He's angry. He's mad. He, he, he's upset that God saved these people and should have killed them. Amen. Amen. Maybe you sitting on side of somebody right now. Amen. You don't like sitting on side of them. And you mad right now. You, amen. You can't even listen to my little sermon. Amen. Because you are emotionally disturbed. Maybe they didn't sing your song. Amen. 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 Maybe. Amen. Maybe. Uh, maybe because I called me. Maybe brother mad because I called him up front. Amen. Folks get mad because all kind of reason. But God got a message for Jonas of the church. Do I have anyone in the house? Amen. And this worm have to wiggle his way. Amen. Just for a message for this Jonah. But you know what? I, I'm, I'm glad that every now and then, amen, amen, I got to deal with some Jonas. Because you know what? When, when Jonas realized just how good God been to them. Amen. Amen. Jonas, Jonas don't mind shouting in church. Amen. See, if, you, if I had nothing but good folk, amen, everybody think that they got where they are by themselves. Amen. But some Jonas know, hey man, I didn't get here by my, if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, where would I be? I'm glad God used a worm that he prepared to wiggle. Amen. He wiggled. Amen. A lot of us, amen, we came from some strange places to get where we are. Amen. And so not only the wiggle, amen, amen, but, but the work. He, when he got to the place. Amen. Lee and, and Evelyn, when y'all got here, amen, you couldn't get too excited. Amen. Because that was some work to do. We see his wiggle and then we see his work. Amen. 15 years, this pastor and wife has worked diligently in the church. And, 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 and nobody ought to not get mad for a pastor's anniversary. Amen. Nobody ought to not get upset. Amen. As 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 Ermus was saying, Amen, about don't don't muzzle the ox that traded out the corn. Amen. If you're gonna work the boy, Amen, feed the boy. Amen. Maybe he'll work a little harder. Do I have any witness in the house? Amen. He can't come over, he can't come over your house on empty. Amen. You don't want him driving no wreck. Look, look at Lee. He can't afford a better car than that. Amen. If you paid the boy. That he's supposed, he, maybe he'll come up here with a Lexus. Amen, amen, even though Evan already got one. Amen. Do I have any witness in the house? Amen, amen. In other words, amen, his work, amen, is speaking for him. Amen, amen. I, I, I listened to all the little talks that, that you all said about him. Amen. I want to let you know that if, if, if the, 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 the ox, amen, and the laborer is worthy of his hire. Amen. He's worthy of the wages. Do I have any wisdom in the house? Because if he worked, amen, somebody ought to appreciate the pastor. And not only appreciate the pastor, somebody ought to appreciate the wife. Do I have any wisdom in the house? Amen. You ought to let Sister Evelyn know every now and then, amen, amen. Keep putting a smile on the pastor's face. And I want to let Jerry Lee know, amen, do the work that God has called you to do. Do it the way God has called you to do it. Amen. You don't have to be a Pastor Rondo. You don't have to be a Pastor Barry. You don't have to be, amen, a, a Pastor Carrington. You just be a Pastor Jerry Lee. Do I have a witness in the house? Amen. It's a whole lot easier for you, Jerry, to be Jerry. Amen. Amen. Don't, don't, don't be like the preacher. Amen. Uh, uh, he, he was out of a job and he was just looking for any job. But the Lord had prepared him to preach. Amen. And he and he saw a sign at the zoo. Amen. And say that they were looking for a lion. Amen. So the brother put on a lion suit. Amen. And because it was paying pretty good money. Amen. And it's, they say, all we want you to do, Mr. Lion, is swing on this swing. Amen. And we will pay you a thousand dollars. 
amen, but the brother, uh, uh, the preacher in the suit, amen, was out of place. I didn't call him to be no line in the swing, amen, at the zoo. And one day he was swinging, amen, on the swing at the zoo, amen, he was swinging, amen, so much, amen, that, that, he, that, that, that he fell, amen, he jumped out of the swing and fell into, amen, a, 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 a cage of gorillas. And he said, oh, Lord, help me. And he was about to take off his head, amen, to show everybody he was just a man in the lion suit, amen. The gorilla say, Barb, be quiet. Both of us going to lose our job. <laughs> Jerry Lee, don't ever try to be something that you're not. <laughs> amen. Do what God has prepared you to do. Do I have anyone in the house? I want to tell somebody, do. don't try to be nobody else. It's a whole lot easier for us to be us. Do I have any witness in the house? If God had prepared you a work, the Bible say work until your day is done. Because the night cometh when no man can work. Amen. You see your wiggle. Amen. That you got here not by the easy road. Amen. You got here the long route. You did not take the shortcut to get here. Amen. You were a son in the ministry. You obeyed your pastor until God called you at a particular time to be pastor of a greater bell Zion. Amen. You paid your dues. You, you wiggled your way to the top. And when you got there, God had a work for you to do. Just like this worm, this worm was supposed to eat away the leaf, amen, that was given, amen, Jonah some comfort. And every now and then, pastor, amen, you got to get people out of their place of comfort. Sometimes folks in the church don't always need to hear a message that's going to make them happy. Sometimes they need a message that's going to make them a little uncomfortable. Can't you see that worm? That worm was prepared. He was prepared to eat away that leaf that was keeping Jonah comfortable. I don't want a whole lot of comfortable folks in the church. Every now and then... God give me a sermon that's going to make some folks mad. God gives me a sermon that's going to disturb some people. This morning I preached a sermon about getting people out of their place of comfort. I talked about Dez Bryant. Y'all remember Dez Bryant? They were playing the Green Bay Packers. The score was 37-36. And Dez Bryant was so upset that the Dallas Cowboys was going to lose. And Des Bryant, with, with seconds left on the clock, walked a man away from his team, and the camera that was on the field started pointing towards Des Bryant. How in the world could Des Bryant, the all-star, amen, wide receiver, walk away from his team with seconds left on the clock you see you I told I, my sermon was amen some of y'all are in the stadium where you need to be on the playing field amen while you still got some seconds left on the clock don't quit your ministry don't quit amen your husband or your wife hang on in there until God says enough is enough can I have a witness is there anybody in here gonna hang on in there? You're losing the game, but hang on in there. Times are tough, but hang on in there. Do I have any wisdom in the house? I'm preaching better than some of y'all saying amen. Is there anybody in the house? Don't mind saying amen. Every now and then, Pastor Lee, I feel just like Des Bryant. I feel like walking off before the game is over. I feel like quitting because some folks in church will make you quit before your time. Do I have a witness in the house? But God called you. God prepared you. And you got to keep preaching. Keep pastoring until God says enough is enough. I talked about his wiggle. I talked about his work. And now let me talk about his word. The reason that God had the worm to eat away that leaf. Because every now and then you got to preach a sermon to let the sun shine through. You see that, that, that eating away that plant? 
let the sun shine through every now and then. You need to let somebody know that he died. Did he die? Can I have a witness? You need to let somebody know that they nailed his hands. They spiked his feet. They put a crown of thorns on his head. You need to let somebody know that I don't care how dark the hour is. The sun is still shining. Is there anybody in here? I know you got some problems in your life. I know you got some dark situations. But every now and then, you need a messenger that's going to let you know that the sun is still going to shine. Say yeah. Say yeah. Because on a hill called Calvary, it got dark that Friday. Didn't it get dark? Because the sun was dead. The grave said he dead. Satan say he dead. Everybody was saying he dead. They put him in a borrowed tomb. He stayed there all Friday night. I believe Zephaniah Phillips said he stayed there Friday night. I believe Rem Bridges said he stayed there Friday night. I believe Pastor Ratcliffe uh, said he stayed there Friday night. Uh, and I got the privilege uh, to say he stayed there Friday night, uh, Saturday morning, uh, Saturday night. Uh, can I have a witness up? Uh, but early, can somebody say early? Early Sunday morning, uh, he got up. Uh, I don't care, Pastor Lee. Uh, I don't care, Sister Lee, uh, how dark it gets. At Greater Bell Zion, let somebody know that the sun still gonna shine. Anybody want to celebrate? Anybody want to say Amen? That Jesus, the Son of God, still gonna shine. Yeah, yeah. Let me in with this little sermon. Somebody say Yeah. You see that different kind of people in the church. You got tumbleweed people in the church. You know about a tumbleweed. A tumbleweed just go everywhere the wind blow. If the wind blow left, that's where the tumbleweed gonna go. If the wind blow right, that's where the tumbleweed gonna go. But there's another plant beside the tumbleweed called the sunflower. The sunflower, can I have a witness? If the sun rise in the east, the sunflower going to point in the east. Uh, if the sun uh, is over the head, uh, the sunflower going to point up. Uh, if the sun is going down in the west, uh, the sunflower going to point. Uh, because everywhere the sun goes, the sunflower going to point. Uh, do I have any sunflowers uh, at Bell Zion? Yeah. Whatever Jesus tell you to go, go with the sun. Uh, Tell your neighbor, go with the sun. Ask somebody, do you know him? Have you tried him? Ain't he all right? Somebody ought to say, ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Say yeah. Say yeah. I know he's all right. Anybody else know he's all right? I know he's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord, everybody. It may take you a while to get there. But wiggle your way there. The worm is not in no hurry. But you know what? He got there. I don't know how long it took. But he got there. Pastor Lee, I don't know how long we were I think I was son over here for seven years. Amen. Amen. That's some things that I did. And amen. And I wouldn't even tell you across this pulpit. But God used all of that to wiggle my way to where he wanted me to be. And Lee, you are here. A prepared messenger. Amen. He may have taken you the long way around, but sometimes that's better now. Amen, amen. I can, I can. I don't mind preaching to somebody that drinks a little slits. Amen, amen. I drunk a little slits. Amen. 
Man, I don't mind talking to somebody that's been in the club. I've been in the club. Amen. I think I'm going to stop right there. Amen. You can't, you can't talk about, amen, what you ain't been through yourself. He prepared you so you can talk about it. Amen. Used to drive that Z28, amen. And Lee ain't always drove no preacher's car, amen. He drove a Z28, amen. Amen. But now, you know, don't, don't be a tumbleweed, amen. Don't be a sunflower. Because it is true that the sunflower would always point towards the sun. Amen. And it would continue to go towards the sun. And j- just follow the sun. Lee and, and my sister and you will always be right. Praise the Lord, everybody. Just follow the sun. So while we sing this song, that's my encouragement to you. That's my encouragement to Bell Zion. Amen. It took a wiggle, but you got there. Amen. Took a while for me to get some of these folks saved up here, man. Amen. The Lord used me to save them. Amen. Amen. And so now there's a work, there's a, and there's a word. Amen. The word is that he let the sun shine. Get out of your place of comfort. Sometimes God got to let a little heat come your way. Pastor Lee is going to, and Sister Lee is going to make you a better pastor and wife. I know we want it easy all the time. Lee can't have it easy. Sometimes there's some little heat got to come. Amen. Amen. It makes us better preachers. Amen. Better men. Better husbands. Amen. Amen. You and Sister Lee ain't going to agree on everything. Just like me and Sister Randy don't agree on everything. Amen. And sometimes a preacher's wife can't understand a preacher. Amen. Now we're going to do it. Why are we doing it this way? <laughs> I say, I'm the pastor. That settles everything right there. Because I don't have I don't have no other word, but I'm the pastor. Amen. Go ahead, go ahead. Amen. That's the way we go do it. Amen. Hers may be smarter. Right, right. Amen. Maybe even better. That's right. But I, I tell her later on. Amen. Yeah, you, you were right. Amen. Yeah, yeah. That's a good idea, dear. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> I thought about it and the Lord told me. <laughs> Amen. The Lord told me. Amen. So while we sing this song, the privilege of the church is extended. There may be somebody here this morning, this afternoon. You need to let the sun shine through. It's dark in your life. And God has sent you a messenger to let you know that I need to preach a message that's going to let the sun shine. That's going to take away your place of comfort. So is that.